There's a girl named Lux and a dog named Riot. They left a city of Texas in violence. They went out west where they could roam in the Colorado trailer home. Hello friends. The thesis of today's video is can you find quiet camping in Quartzsite? If you follow folks that live nomadically on YouTube, you're probably already familiar with the little town of Quartzsite in Arizona. It is a quintessential southwestern sleepy town of about 4,000 people, but come winter, flocks of snowbirds descend on the town to take advantage of the dry warmth, the big tent RV show, and to commune with like-minded community, pushing the winter population of Quartzsite to about half a million transient travelers. If you followed this channel for a while, you probably already know that my style of camping or our style of camping is more geared towards silence and solitude than RV parks and camaraderie. So why the fuck would I come to Quartzsite? Number one is to meet up with a couple friends and have a little community time since we all scatter across the continent come summer. Number two is because this area of Arizona is literally the sunniest place in America and sunshine on my shoulders makes me happy. Number three is because I boondock and Quartzsite is on my winter rotation for free campsites as there are over a million acres of BLM camping land, which makes moving economically slow and steady very possible, making my winter travels exceptionally affordable. Number four is because Let's face it, it's like a rite of passage. And since it's only my second trip here, it doesn't feel played out to me yet. Number final is because it's on the way to what I have to do next, which is really exciting, but it deserves its own video. So ha 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 ha, I'm not telling right now. So you'll have to subscribe to find out if you're curious. Here in the Q, as some like to call it, there's a small handful of things for a gal like me to do. Mostly hiking and viewing the mountains, desert flora, and critter watching. This small town does have many winter amenities, most of which are inside the big tent area, which simply looks like an anxiety attack to me. The quartzite based convenience most notable for this juncture of my so-called cargo trailer life is a solar supply dealer where I was able to get a second 105 amp hour AGM battery at a reasonable price, which was great relief. Considering quartzite is in the middle of nowhere, most of the stores here mark their goods up about 30% for the convenience of not having to drive an extra 27 miles for normal prices. Unfortunately, Discount Solar didn't have any size 17 battery boxes, so this little town offers a second solar power retailer who does not have very good reviews online, but who did have a size 17 box, but no lid. Such is life in the queue, I guess. Quartzsite has a big area to dump your trash just outside of town, water stations, a few gas stations, and lots and lots of RV parks. With so many people here, how does an introverted girl like me in the Leave Me Alone Club find a quiet place to camp? Well, friends, it's called having off-road capability. For the somewhat daring of nature, you can take some of the ATV roads a bit back farther than most would consider, crossing washes and rough terrain to find some quiet and quartzite. Just be on the lookout for signs that state where the permitted camp areas end so you don't get yourself in trouble. Following a set of ATV tracks, my truck and trailer found some solitude in the queue. Set far back from the busy highway noise and clamorous campfires of the more extroverted travelers, Riot and I can eat apples in peace and watch hawks circle their prey. Our friend Robert's van was able to make it too, so 4x4 is not even necessary to get farther back for the quiet camping. So if you're curious about quartzite but prefer the quiet, you can in fact have your cake and eat it too. On another note, thank you for all the recommendations about wiring my new little fridge directly to the fuse box. I was apprehensive to do so as the fridge is on a permalone from a friend and I didn't want to cut the 12 volt cord, but I was able to find a replacement cord on Amazon for 20 bucks. So if I ever returned the fridge to him or the manufacturer for warranty purposes, I can return it just as it came despite hard wearing it after all. I appreciate all the advice and interest in my fridge upgrade. It is working out really well, especially now that I increased my battery storage to get through the few cloudy and rainy days that the winter has brought. 
right and I sure hope that you enjoyed this video about finding some quiet camping in Quartzsite and hope that you join us for our further cargo trailer camper conversion adventures. If you liked this video, please consider subscribing. And if you really liked it, please consider hitting that thumbs up button. And we'll see you later. You got butt. <laughs>